guys, this is gonna be the setup without a phone. This is the setup with the phone, which is an iPhone XS Max. So we're gonna see how long it takes to get ready with an iPhone. Pull the drone out. Remove our gimbal cover. Okay, now we're gonna head into our app. We're gonna go to flight control and we're gonna enable novice mode on our right hand side at the top. When enabled, the maximum altitude, distance, and speed will be limited. Intelligent flight modes will be disabled. Speed limit is eight miles per hour, altitude limit 98 feet, distance limit 328 feet. Now I will say, if you have the money, and money is not an issue, and you can purchase the Altel Evo, but you're a beginner, or a novice, or a casual flyer, I would say get it. I would recommend buying it and spending the extra money for the safety. Because a lot of the times with the toy grade ones, they're actually more manual and less automatic. And for a beginner, they actually may crash and lose more of those drones than they will a drone like this. And also Evo has tons of safety features and flight modes and you can customize your speed and all that. So I just feel as though um, if you have the money and you buy this, it's a good drone and you can keep it on novice mode or take it off novice mode and kind of just slowly ramp yourself up and get your experience in on this drone. And when you're ready for the more professional stuff, then the drone also has that available for it too. But with the cheaper toy grade drones or just the cheaper drones that aren't quite toy grade, but just a little cheaper, there are, um, when, when you get your experience on those, and you're craving to do more professional things or you want a better camera, they're not gonna be able to offer you that. So at least if you have the Evo, you have like an all-in-one. You have a beginner, you know, drone by putting it in its, be, you know, novice mode. And then when you're ready to try some pro stuff out, you can also, you know, take it to the next level and get your practice in. So I personally would recommend buying it if you have the money. But if you don't have the money, then it would be better to try out something like the Hubson 501 SS that I mentioned and I highly recommend the Unique Breeze 4K because it has an amazing camera and it too has a very stable slow mode and the F11 is not bad but if you're looking for a, a good camera and you want to really you know practice I would start with the Unique Breeze because you kind of get the best of both worlds you get stability and you get a good camera and it flies very nice and it has the same 
range as this. So now we're just going to fly over this uh, building here and we're just going to go until the range kicks in. So it's telling us that the maximum altitude has been reached at 98 feet. And then we're going to go until we hit that uh, 328 feet distance right up there at the top in the middle. You can also see on our left, we have our satellite Google Maps actually showing, you know, the drone traveling as well. I got the resolution on 4K, 60 frames per second. Everything else is in auto. And now we're just gonna head back over and when we get all the way over there, we're going to land it slowly. And then in the next clip, I'm going to show it in novice mode, but also show it from the outside. So I'll be recording the Evo so you can actually see like with your own eyes how it looks flying in novice mode and how fast it's actually going when you're looking at it. Now we're going to slowly bring it down. And as you can see, it's, you know, landing very, very stable and gentle. Okay. All right. So we're going to bring it over and then we're going to fly it again in the next clip in novice mode and let you guys get a look at that. Okay, and now this is it and still novice mode. I just want you guys to see how the drone behaves. I don't know if it sounds loud because it's on a phone, but it is very quiet. So those props are, you know, pretty quiet. It is rocking a little bit because we got some, uh, some winds coming in. And this is full stick forward. See how slow it's moving? I'm gonna come back. Let me zoom in a bit. Very stable. Let's go up. Full stick, full stick in. And it's very quiet. So the rear sensors are picking me up at 12 to 15 feet and the front sensors are, I think it's more picking up the ground. I think if we lift it up, yes, yeah, some of those sensors go away, do a little walk around. Those front sensors picking me up. Okay, we're gonna go forward. We'll do a little pass by so you can see how slow it's moving. Now it's detecting a ground air a little bit, so I'm gonna lift it up. Okay. We're gonna do a little pass by. So I'm gonna put it here. That's full stick in novice mode. Okay. All right, so that's enough of that. Hope that was helpful.